Look, sea harvest um, is the biggest economic driver on the West Coast. Um, first of all, in this area, believe it or not, um, you know, seafood or fishing is uh, the number one economic driver, even for the municipality, it's above tourism. So it's an absolute critical job creator. Um, within that, we are the biggest job creator. So we have uh, in total around 4,000 direct and indirect jobs that we create in the Saldana Bay area. Um, of that, we pay close to half a billion rand of wages. Um, and speaking to economists and doing some independent uh, studies with uh, the University of Cape Town um, has indicated that the multiply effect is times two um, with everything you do. So we're probably spending about a billion rand in this, in this community here. Um, so that is, you know, using all the suppliers, that are here, all our procurement spend goes here. Um, we've, we, a lot, all of our enterprise development has happened here. Um, so, so if you look at it from a job creation, spending with the community, spending with your municipality. I mean, we spent over 100 million rand a year on electricity, water, etc., and utilities with the municipality. So we're absolutely critical in terms of an economic driver for this particular area. And I think we'll remain like that, um, you know, as long as uh, we are present here. Um, you'll see other towns like Hout Bay, you know, as soon as the fishing communities or even, even other areas, you know, as soon as the fishing communities left and the fishing companies left, there was no town there. So, so for us, it's critical, um, you know, and it's important for, for government to understand that, of how important companies like this, you know, heavy capital intensive, um, and labor intensive businesses, how important they are to the economic activity of this entire area. Look, the national development plan, in my opinion, um, is probably one of the best targets that we can have as a country. Um, at the end of the day, I, when you read it, 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 it's really around three areas. The first area is job creation and retention. The second one is investment. And the third one is inclusive economic growth. Um, from a job creation and retention perspective, that's probably the most important in our lives. So from a retention perspective, we are relying on government for our fishing rights. So it's absolutely critical that we retain our fishing rights and the, and the volume of our fishing rights to make this um, operation viable um, because it's, it's very capital intensive and it requires economies of scale and scope to be competitive. So that's very, very important for, for us from that perspective. Further beneficiation is also important because at the end of the day, we export to 26 countries around the world. So the reality is that we produce the final product here that you will find on a Tesco supermarket shelf in the UK, for example. We do it at around 84%, but there's still scope to increase that. So further beneficiation is critical. The second one, which I think is critical, is investment. Um, our fleet and generally fleets in South Africa are aging. So we need to recapitalize the vessels. Um, in, in our plans, we probably need to spend close to a billion rand in the next 15 years to recapitalize these vessels that you see, to reinvest in factories. So I think investment is critical, but you can only do that when you have certainty. Um, you invest when you know that you've got a business for 15 years. So that is critical. And the third one is inclusive economic growth. So for us, you know, what that means for us, at 89% black owned, I think, you know, trying to increase black shareholding when you are listed, it's not going to go a lot further. So the big thing for us is localization. It's making sure that we procure everything from this community here. It's making sure that we develop more SMMEs in this area here. Um, and at the end of the day, that's, I think, what will, what will really assist inclusive economic, gro uh, economic growth. So uh, the, the, the power of having such a big company here, um, which has got a huge procurement spend and it's a profitable company, that will make the, the drive the economic activity further uh, across the West Coast. That's what I believe. So, so it's really taking those pillars of the, of the National Development Plan, which are critical. Um, and even so, the National Development Plan is very critical, very clear on fishing. Fishing, you know, it all starts with the ocean. Yeah. If there's fish in the ocean, you have a viable business. If you have fishing rights and you have volume, you will have what you have here. So it's a matter of making sure we do this properly. Um, and and in, in this industry, you know, ha having many, many rights holders fishing, you can't control them. Um, and it's, it's not only in South Africa, it's everywhere in the world. So the NDP is actually clear that for you to have a sustainable business, um, you need to make sure you utilize the resources to the maximum and they are sustainable. 
What was, we were really proud of is that when UCT did the independent socioeconomic impact study on sea harvest, they actually um, concluded this year is a national asset. You know, it's, it's a black owned, black managed national asset.